So we're finally back to Think About It Reviews, and I had the privilege of watching Triple Nine. Now, Triple Nine, I didn't really see, I think I saw the trailer maybe once, and I didn't really know what this film was about. I know it had a great cast that I wanted to see, because these are a lot of, I don't want to say lower kind of stars out there but they're tv stars basically i mean I, I remember seeing aaron paul i remember seeing norman reedus and i love norman reedus i think norman reedus was great in boondock saints and people didn't know he came from boondock saints before he did the walking dead and i think he's a good actor i think aaron paul too i liked his uh last venture i believe it was need for speed i really like that film so and then you have you have a stellar cast. You have Anthony Mackie. You have Casey Affleck in here. And I think Casey Affleck is just as good as Ben, or maybe even better when it comes to acting. Uh, you have Shawatel Elfor, and he's he did Twelve Years, uh, Twelve Years a Slave, I believe that's the name of the film. Uh, and I thought he was phenomenal in that film. So he's a very great actor as well. And then you also have Kate Winslet in here. I believe Kate Willett, yeah, Kate Winslet plays actually a Russian, she's the head of the Russian mob right now, as her husband's in jail, and I'll get to that in a minute, and then we have Woody Harrelson in here, and then you have even Gal Gadot, and it seems like Gal Gadot is like in everything nowadays, but this is directed by John Hillcoat, and what this is about is the film follows a group of criminals and corrupt cops who are being blackmailed by the Russian mafia, the only way to appease them is to perform an extremely challenging heist and they do two heists in the film they do two heists in the film and then of course you have this band of people who you have two who were who are cops you have the others who were like special forces or was in the army or you know was in a special unit uh, you have Casey Affleck, who is this cop who gets transferred over. His name is Chris. You have uh, the head guy of this whole band of robbers, uh, Chidwit, who plays Michael. And then you have Anthony Mackie as Marcus, Aaron Paul as Gabe. And with his brother, Norman Reedus, as Russell, Woody Harrelson as Chris's, a.k.a. Casey Affleck's um, uncle, uncle, <laughs> Uncle Jeffrey. They call him Uncle Jeffrey. And then you have Kate Winslet, like I said, who's uh, pretty much the head of the mob right now, who's uh, Ira Ira Irina. Irina, I believe her name was. Um, so that's basically the gist of the film. You know, you want to know whether I like it or not. And I thought this film was okay. It's a one-time deal for me. I came away from this film saying I saw it. It was okay. There was a lot of great. There was some great moments in the film. A lot of great intensity. A lot of great build up. But when it comes down to it, I was I was hoping this would be a little bit more like um, uh, Four Brothers, just a little bit of it. But you don't get that. You definitely don't get that. And um, it's just it just came away with it just came off as like you know a mediocre a mediocre mediocre kind of film and what i mean by mediocre is that the characters are not all fleshed out too much you know a couple characters especially with uh uh Chino, Chitowettel, uh, michael the head guy you know about michael his situation and his son and um who his baby mama is part of uh, you get to know him. Uh, you get to know Gabe, but Gabe is like a one note. I, I feel like Aaron Paul did not get enough for this film. I felt like he was just so underused in here. And I felt like Norman Reedus was definitely underused. If you're hoping for a Norman Reedus type film, you're not going to get that. You're not going to get very much of him in this film. So just to let you know right now, Woody Harrelson felt like he was being a little bit too cartoonish. It felt like he came in here for a paycheck and just said, let's throw some shit out there. So I have to play the cop a thousand times let's let's just throw some shit out here kate winslet i knew it was her right when i saw her i was like that's kate winslet she's okay i mean she's she's kind of a bitch <laughs> you don't you definitely don't uh really end up liking her so bravo for her for doing that uh i thought anthony mackie was not too bad in here as marcus uh he gets paired up with chris uh casey affleck uh they gotta be partners and i thought that was a, that, actually, that actually was an interesting dynamic those two because they hate each other in the film they hate each other but then along the lines of course you have the same concept the same tropes or not tropes but same thing you've seen over and over again where he starts liking this kid and he needs him for part of his second plan. The heists weren't very smart. The first heist that they do, 
these guys are supposed to be professional. They're supposed to be badass. They're supposed to be know, know what they're doing. Of course, there's going to be hiccups along the way. But the hiccups they do in this film is just not smart. Like Anthony Mackie in the middle of this film or towards the end, he does something where, where it makes me question, like, why would you do it that way? And how can the cops not catch these guys at one particular moment as well? So there's a few couple moments that just make me think, like, Somebody, they, this should be a much smarter type heist film than it is because it's not very smart. The characters do a lot of stupid things in here. That's what makes you feel like uh, I, you're not really too much on board with this film because it's something that's mediocre and not as surprising. You have because we've seen a lot. You've seen a lot of heist films in a day. You've seen a lot that's been going on, especially Fast and Furious did it better than what they did and the two heists they did in this film. There is a lot of cool moments in a heist though. There's a lot of cool things they do in order to make the heist work. I will give it that, but when it comes to the actual heist itself, it just doesn't bring too much to the table. I mean, I believe Ben Affleck's film, The Town, did the heist film actually a lot better than what this film tried to do and it's a shame because there's a lot of great people in this film there's a lot of great actors but there's really nobody who shines too much honestly they and that's bad because nobody really kind of carries the film overall maybe uh maybe casey affleck actually even though how subtle his performance is but if i had to choose it was uh chitowell michael who uh carried the film even anthony mackie uh put something in there as well but I felt like this film, there's a, but I will go back to the good stuff. The good stuff is that there's two great moments in here. There's one where uh, Casey Affleck's Chris and Anthony Mackie's Marcus is chasing after one of these guys. They're uh, they're, they're pretty much a drug dealer. They're, they're, it's a chase. It's a chase sequence, a lot of gunfire, a lot of great use of what they have. Like They have a body shield. Chris does he has a body shield Casey Affleck and he has guys lined up in back of him and I love the formation they use and the way they use that shield in order to get into the building and not get hit by these bullets I thought that sequence was really really great it was very uh, suspenseful it, was very, it kind of made me kind of a little edge to my seat even because I, I didn't know I didn't know if some of these guys were going to die that there was a threat in that sequence so I thought they handled they did that very very well and then there's another sequence that involves again Anthony Mackie and Ka Casey Affleck inside uh looking for this informant looking for uh Anthony Mackie's informant and it, it, they go into this building it's very dark the cinematography is well done in there some of the parts though in this film when it comes to the cinematography it was a little bit too dark and the camera was way too shaky in some parts as well especially the beginning and especially the first heist but that particular scene with uh trying to find the informant in the building with the low light and just graffiti everywhere was fantastic i really did like that part so i'm not saying this movie is terrible it's not terrible it's mediocre, but there's actually some sequences here and some things that they do very, very, very well. But there's a lot of things they drop the ball on. And I think they drop the ball on a lot of these characters, like Aaron Paul's Gabe character. Like, I was kind of intrigued at what Gabe was going to do. I did like the little angle they were going for with Gabe. But I still feel like the writing could have been just so much stronger for this film. I feel like a lot of these people who are in this film got little bit misused and could have been it, it just could have been a better overall script and i think that's the problem with this film was the script the ending itself was not too bad there's a lot of twists there's a lot of turns but there's some predictability when it comes to towards the end but there is some surprises which is actually very great uh but triple nine by all means i think people will like it i think i honestly think people will like it um, would I recommend you watching it at a full price movie theater? No, because I felt like what, when I was watching this, it's kind of not made for TV, but you know, made for HBO or something like that. Uh, I felt like you could easily watch this on a red box, uh, yeah, red box or streaming it on your own home and just watch it at home. I don't feel like you need to pay eleven fifty or the full price admission to go to the theaters to watch Triple Nine. Now I was still a little bit excited because you know I, I, Triple Nine with this cast and I wanted to see it. So uh, I'm not by all means I'm not saying that I 
it was so disappointing. Like I, it was a waste of my time. It wasn't a waste of my time. There was actually a couple scenes here and there that I really liked that I could take away from. But when it comes to money and you're, you know, saving up or if whether my opinion, whether you want to go watch it or not, I'm saying just wait till it comes on DVD. Just wait till you could stream it. Uh, so I don't recommend you watch this at the theater, but I do recommend you watch it at home. So I want to thank you guys for listening. Like I said, it's just my opinion. This is called Think About It Reviews. I know you guys are going to go watch it anyway, but I make these reviews to hear what you have to say so tell me what if you saw triple nine what did you think of the film did you really enjoy it did you think it was definitely worth the uh, price admission just i would love to hear you guys thoughts because i know you guys are going to go watch a film no matter what and that's good because if you want to really want to see it and you're really just going to go go i really encourage you to go but for my opinion i say wait for another film that's maybe a better heist film than this so like i always say guys <laughs> guys and girls Grab a tick, grab a seat, make sure you got some good popcorn to eat. I'm Dan, a man, a.k.a. Dan, son. I'll see you at the cinema. Bye, guys.